forward a little bit. Um, I, I love the group um, Black Girls Run. Like Shari mentioned, the camaraderie of it is awesome. You know, everyone holds you accountable. Um, there's no runner that looks the same like the other one, so I don't want anybody to feel like a runner or a walker, you know, has to be, you know, uh, look a certain way. You know, you're, you're slim, you're, you know, a size two. You know, everybody is a different shape and size, and everybody can do it. Uh, as a group, we went together one day to a seminar pretty, pretty similar to this where one of the women um, who is a member of Black Girls Run spoke about triathlons and uh, was like, oh, okay, I I'd be interested in that. And basically a triathlon, it's a multi-sport. Um, it's a combination of swimming, biking, and running, okay? And while that might sound intimidating as we just talked about just running in itself, um, there's different distances in triathlons. Um, there's a sprint triathlon. Um, there's one coming up April 12th, and I'm going to ask Stephanie to, in a little bit to hand out the flyers for that. Um, the distance for that is a 400 meter swim in a pool, right? Um, and, and the swim, bike, and run is in that order. You swim first, you bike, and then you run, okay? So the sprint triathlon in the pool is uh, a 400 meter swim followed by a six mile bike ride and then a three point, I'm sorry, then a two mile run, okay? And that's all done right here in Eisenhower Park. And that was the first race we did together, Black Girls Run as a group, we did that together. And it was such an amazing feeling um, for us, you know, as runners to accomplish the next, you know, the next step. Um, we all, we trained together um, and it was, you know, for me finishing that race meant a lot to me. And uh, when I was done, I was like, wow, I did that, all right, what's next, right? So I started doing other triathlons. Um, the, next, the next distance after a sprint triathlon is an Olympic distance, uh, which is a 1,500 meter swim, 24.8 mile bike ride, and then a 10K run. Then you have a half, uh, uh, distance uh, Ironman triathlon and then you have the full Ironman triathlon. I'm presently training for a full Ironman which is a <laughs> uh, 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride and then a 26.2 marathon. Um, that, yeah, that's all in one day <laughs> back to back. Um, that's in August so I'm looking forward to that. But. Um, I, I just want to explain to each and every one of you, I wish someone, I wish I got this information 20 years ago, okay? I'm going to be 43 this year, and um, I just learned, I didn't even know what a triathlon was before we started training in it. So I wish, you know, I had this information 20 years ago, you know, um, because I love it so much. I feel that my workouts um, have a purpose. You know, um, I don't get bored with any one workout. I used to be a type of type of person that just would go to the gym and, you know, maybe take a class here or there. Um, and then after a while, I would get bored and then I just wouldn't go anymore. You know, and then I'm at home, I'm eating like crazy and I'm gaining weight. But now I find that, you know, if, if I don't get to run outside, then maybe I'll swim. Or if I don't get to swim, I'll, I'll do a bike ride and stuff. So my workouts are always, you know, um, always different so I'm never bored of, of just doing one thing and like running um, I don't want you to think triathletes look a certain way you know in terms of their color um, their size you know um, triathlon triathletes come in all shape, shapes and sizes um, and everyone in here you know can do it um, there is like uh, April 12th is the power of uh, it's their inaugural uh, women's triathlon that's held right here in Eisenhower Park and um, if you have any kind of uh, interest let's say any kind of interest of something that you may want to do or even maybe want to you know you know spread along to your family and, and tell them about it uh, while you might not be prepared at this point to do the race itself, I encourage you all to come down at least watch the race um, because, you, like I said, you'll, you'll see women of all ages, um, all colors, all walks of life doing this race. And, you know, um, it, may, it may pique some interest in you to do it yourself maybe, 
you know, a, another time. Um, it's their first race doing it as an all women's race, which I think is great because I think that they're seeing um, more women becoming involved you know, in this sport, this multi-sport. And I just want to mention besides triathlons, there's also something called duathlons. Um, so let's say swimming is just not your thing for whatever reason it is. Um, duathlons are basically two sports done together, um, usually uh, biking and then running. Um, that's a great way to get introduced into the sport too. And like I said, you, you won't be bored because your workouts are mixed up. You know, you're doing different things to, to stay in shape. Um, what else? What else did I write down here? <laughs> okay, besides, I want to talk a little bit about open water swims. So, like I mentioned, there's uh, pool triathlons. And then as the weather gets, gets nicer, we actually swim in the ocean, and that's called an open water swim. So those races are done, um, you know, not, not just in an ocean, but a lake or some type of open body of, of water. It's, you know, um, the, the, the water is usually, usually calm. I did the New York City Triathlon last year, and that was in the Hudson River. That's pretty cool, you know, because, you know, what other opportunity would you get to swim in the Hudson River? Um, you know, besides a race like that. So that, that was pretty cool. Um, and for the open, and just so you know, um, cause you can go to Jones Beach in the summertime when it's 100 degrees outside and the water is still cold. For open water swims, you would wear uh, what you call a wetsuit. Um, you know, what you see those people surfing in, you wear a wetsuit. The wetsuit has special material in it called uh, neo, neoprene. And neoprene basically helps to keep your body warm. Um, so you don't feel the cold in the water at all, at all. Trust me, I, I hate being cold. So you wear the wetsuit and you don't, you don't feel cold at all. So um, I know we're, we're um, running out of time here and I just wanna encourage everybody to come to the race April 12th. A lot of us are doing that race April 12th. Um, you could also do it as a relay. Let's say you don't wanna do the whole, whole thing. Um, you can do it as a team, you know. She does the swim portion, you do the bike and you do the run, you know. Um, whatever discipline is, is, is better for you. Um, so you could also do it as a team. And I think it's really cool that they're doing it as an all women's sport. Um, you can go to the website, Event Power. Um, event, these, these posters that I have back here, Event Power um, is the company that is the host for all of these uh, triathlons on Long Island. Um, it's some really great races that they have out there. Um, and like running the triathlon community, um, it's, it's a camaraderie, you know. Um, everybody's doing it for different reasons, for, you know, um, whether it's for weight loss, like Sharon said, you know, trying to get away from your family for a little bit, you know, just for some your, your own uh, mental stillness. Everybody does it for, for, for different reasons, but um, uh, I love it. I love it. So, you know, I'm sorry. You don't want to know. Like, I don't even want to know how often I train. Well, like I mentioned, I'm doing a big race in August right now. So my schedule is pretty, um, is uh, my workouts, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, we would go to like Cedar Creek Park um, and do, you know, a, a bike ride over there. Or you could run around. Massapequa Trail is good for bike rides. Um, and then, you know, you just do your normal, regular runs. But um, it's an amazing um, accomplishment to, to be able to do all those three disciplines um, in one day. Anybody have any questions? Oh, that's a good question. For me, I don't like doing things by myself, right? Um, I'm the type of person I need to, I need a group of people around me um, to hold me accountable and support me in what I do. And, um, you know, for me, that mentally, that helps me mentally when I'm around other people, you know, other people that I can lean on, with, you know, maybe I don't feel like swimming today and, you know, somebody's, you know, call, texting me like, where are you? You know, we're, we're training today. Um, I meditate a lot. Um, I do yoga. Um, that helps me as well. Um, and I think that, I think like running, May, probably in, in, in any type of sport, once you start seeing results, you know, once you walk around that track once, right, and then the next time you come out, you're able to run around the track, you know, same thing, you're, you're able to swim half a lap, and the next time you're able to swim a full lap. Once you start seeing results, I think that mentally 
uh, makes you want to do it more also, you know, um, because you actually see yourself like, wow, I could do this, and which is what happened to me at that triathlon race. I was like, wow, I did that, you know, um, and it's exciting, you know, you start seeing, um, you know, what your body could do, you know, you start, you, you start seeing what your body could actually do. Yeah. and this is Lifestyles by Kim. I'm here at Kennedy Park, Women's Fitness Day event in Hempstead, New York. It's not a trend, it's a lifestyle. Here I'll be sampling healthy snacks from the tomato stuffed with avocado, with cucumber topped with tuna, and also fruit kebabs. Eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. Baby, won't you try me? Baby, won't you try me?